These are two who have started zero and two who expected so much better, Essendon and Melbourne. So there's been a level of critique. There's been some pretty fierce criticism. Melbourne's taking a stand of its own against online abuse in a pretty clever way. Hey, team, it's some... Me dead, I'm sick of seeing Max Gorn. Nathan Jones is a dirty dog. Neville Jetta is a scumbag. A cheap shot. There's a lot of flog about Tom McDonald. Let's tear online bullying down. Let's tear online bullying down. Let's tear online bullying down. So through a mean tweets banner to make a serious point around cyberbullying, one of the men who's at the centre of this is Neville Jetta, an ambassador for Reach. This is the Reach Foundation game. Neville, welcome to AFL 360. Thanks for having me tonight. Give us, uh, what's the nub of the idea? Um, oh, obviously, online bullying, as, we, as we've seen, um, with a spate of attacks over probably the last six to eight weeks, especially with AFL players. Um, that is not just, just racism. Um, it, it's, it's actually bullying, bullying people. Um, and AFL players have that stance where we're able to, to speak out um, to the community and people actually listen to us. But, but it's really starting to try and connect with the youth um, and, and change the next generation because uh, one in five youth... Uh, are being bullied through online media, uh, online social media. And this is your connection with the Reach Foundation, which continues the, the great work mm -hmm. that was established by Jim Steins. Yep, so Jim Steins, um, obviously, we all know how, how great he was as a footballer, um, but also what he's done for the Reach Foundation 25 years ago um, to be able to start something like this and to be still relevant in today's society. Um, it's almost like, yeah, he's seen into the future and what we needed and um, to be able to see the workshops and be a part of them. Um, they're very empowering to not only us as at the football club, um, which we've done over the last probably few years, um, but to see these, these kids come through and, and, and be leaders and now running these workshops. It's a great initiative, mate. Mm. How have you learned to deal with the bullying of AFL players? Now, people say you're not bullying AFL players. They are. The criticism online, how have you learned to deal with it? Um, oh, more recently, um, the united approach that we've had um, definitely strengthens um, the courage within you to be able to stand up to this stuff. Uh, it's probably a bit harder when no one's sort of backing you, but when we've got 42, 43 players within a footy club um, from every football club, um, and then we've got the AFLPA backing us up, the AFL um, coaches. Do you feel that the people, are, the, the, you know, the fans are backing you up as well? Uh, that's, yeah, 99% of our fan supporters are backing us up. And, it's been and awesome, hasn't it, the support? It's been unbelievable when um, we as players want to open up um, as people, as players, and, and let people in. But it's hard when people are starting to attack you, and that's when players are probably starting to shut down. Uh, had you had to deal with that personally in the past, before the last eight weeks, through your career? Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you deal with it? And I was probably asking you that before. How did you deal yeah, with it? Yeah, probably... I think it's... Um, for myself, it was, it was coincided with, with form. So I had a, obviously a tough run there in my early early days and, and the constant media um, or social media coming through comments um, already had self-doubt about myself uh, and it just made it really um, harder to be able to, to get my thing right to, to make myself uh, the player I wanted to be going forward. But um, just had to really um, go to the my sport networks, um, lean on them as much as possible um, and then really tried to, yeah, self-empower were, were you Were you pre presented with filthy racist comments or not? Uh, a few times, yep, yep. How did you deal with them? Privately uh, or support networks? Privately. Um, uh, well, probably in my early days, I probably wasn't strong enough to actually call it out. Um, and, and they were the ones that I just deleted and didn't actually... So does it affect you when you read it or you just think you numbskull? No, it, it really did affect me. I was... Um, when I first moved over from Perth, um, it would have been my first maybe six months at the football club. Um, and it was one where 
Um, I was only 18, 19. Um, if someone would have said it to my face, it would have been a different story, but online social media, well, I was... Do that, um, yeah, it, it, I was thinking about it for the next four weeks. Were you um, really? And it was a, to a point where whether I should do something, who do I talk to, I'll just leave it because I don't want to bring any attention to myself. Um, so it was a situation where I had to carry this for a long time and it, it probably did affect my performance. You've become a, a real leader within your footy club, within your community as well. So did you gather together all the Melbourne-based Indigenous players last night? Yeah, so uh, it, was, it was a good dinner. Um, Sporting Globe down in Richmond helped us out. And, uh, but it was on the back of the Indigenous camp. We, we had that this year and over that in Adelaide. In Adelaide before the season started. Yep, so we all got all the players there and we were able to have conversations um, not only with each other but with Gil, uh, Steve Hocking, um, a few of the AFL PA delegates as well. Um, Marshy was there, so the conversations we had uh, were things that um, the issues that we needed to raise and to fix, um, and one of them was support networks. Um, and, and one way was to be able to connect with each other as players. So Adelaide boys, both Port and Port and Adelaide, both catch up all the time. Um, but within Melbourne, obviously, big city, everyone spread right across. Everyone's got different schedules, and to be able to get 24, 25 players there last night to be able to do something was unbelievable and um, a lot of help was done by um, Matthew Whelan, who was a past player of the footy yep. club. Uh, he really helped me behind the scenes. Obviously, I've got to try and train and perform and be ready for football. So to be able to, to lean on people like him and, and know all the other players do that within the, the footy club as well. Um, and not everyone has a liaison, Indigenous liaison person within the footy club, um, something that was another issue. But um, yeah, to be able to get all the players there support each other, um, have conversations that they mightn't have at their footy club. Um, was very powerful and I was very appreciative of their support coming along. Brilliantly said. Now what are you going to do on Friday night? <laughs> that's that's what we're working on at the footy club. We're uh, disappointed about where we're at. Um, we obviously high expectations coming off last year. Um, but yeah, we're, we're not happy with where we're at. We're, we're all trying to improve, coaches included. Everyone's in it together and um, yeah. We're ready. To, we want to do something about it. Good on you. There'll be a big crowd for it, and it's a chance to be part of the the Reach Foundation donation. Mm -hmm. So the first donation is from the Melbourne players themselves. So five thousand dollars. The check is signed, and that that starts the account from the night. Yeah, it does. And um, hopefully there'll be a lot more donations coming in from the fans, um, both Melbourne and Essendon supporters, to really uh, yeah help out a, a, a great foundation. So the details are just on the screen there. Text reach to 0455 021 021. And yes, it's uh, Jim Stein's Reach Foundation mm -hmm. night. It's, it, it'll certainly resonate with the, with the huge crowd that turns out. It's great to see you, Neville. Well done on well all that you're doing. <clears throat> and uh, go well on the field. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Neville Jetta with us. So that's Friday night. Now to Saturday twilights.